Hey everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today's video is all about WD Red Series NAS hard drives. NAS means Network Attached Storage. We have an expansion of the original WD Red Series including an upgrade to 5 and 6 terabyte capacities. First 6 terabyte capacity NAS specific hard drive to be brought to market by the way. And also we have a new series of WD Red Pro drives all featuring NASWare 3.0. Now, if you're not familiar with what a NAS is in general, I'll give a quick explanation. Uh, network attached storage is something that connects to your network like you might have at home, say set up by your router or on a small business that might be set up by a router or IT department, something like that. Having storage that's connected to that network so that other computers and other devices on the network can access that storage. Or even if you ha have, for instance, a NAS set up at home, when you're on the road, you can use the internet to connect into your NAS for things like remote on-the-go storage. So for home use, it's very popular for doing things like taking movies, music, or other media and sharing them across so you can view them on other devices. Uh, in an office or small business environment, it's very popular for setting up things like virtualization, having storage expandability so you can add additional storage to your network over time, or for instance, things like maintaining security or having the ability to connect more dynamically to servers. We have a couple examples of purpose-built NAS boxes right here, including the WD MyCloud EX4. This is a four-bay NAS, and when we talk about bays, that's how many actual 3.5-inch drives can be supported in here. This is made to be a standalone unit, but there are also rack mount, na rack mount NAS devices that are available as well um, that you'll see more often in business environments. Below it, we also have a Synology 8-bay NAS, and there's an important distinction here because with the upgrade to NASWare 3.0, among some of the other benefits it provides, is the standard uh, WD Red Series can now be, have support for up to 8-bay uh, NAS devices versus 1 to 5 bays like it had in the past. So 1 to 8-bay is uh, the type of NAS storage that is recommended for the standard WD Series, WD Red Series I should say. And then if you're going beyond 8-bay, if you're going say 8 to 16-bay NAS storage systems, whether you're talking about a rack mount or something like this, that is where WD is recommending the WD Red Pro Drive. I've mentioned NASWare 3.0 a couple different times so far, but let's give a better explanation of what that actually is. NASWare is a set of product features that WD has engineered and implemented specifically in the RED series of hard drives to make sure that these drives are going to pe perform admirably in a NAS environment. This includes certain elements such as RAID support, for example, which is very, very popular uh, with a NAS because often they're set up with RAID 1 or other RAID 5, RAID 6 configurations. That way you have data redundancy in case of a drive failure happening. Uh, also the capability that these drives have. So uh, these are specifically designed for enhanced ca capability in consumer, uh, small office, home office environments for the WD, uh, WD Red Standard Series. And uh, here you have, again, up to 1 to 8 base support. For the WD Red Pro drives, uh, you actually have capability of up to 8 to 16 base support. And there's some specific feature sets that need to be implemented with the drives in order to have the capability to operate reliably in those RAID environments. Reliability, speaking of, uh, is also a factor because these are, drives are made for 24-7 use, whereas more standard consumer drives such as the WD Green and WD Blue, although they do have their merits, are not meant to be run all the time in that type of environment. Those are made for more four to eight hours per day type of typical desktop consumer usage. You also have compatibility, and these have been engineered specifically for optimal NAS system compatibility, and WD does work with third-party vendors to make sure that these drives will, will perform in third-party NAS-based solutions uh, without any issues. And lastly, you have power measures to enhance the protection of your data and also make sure that you have data loss. So you have some failover support in, the, in case of data loss. And also, these drives are going to use less power, generally speaking, than typical uh, NAS or high-performance drives. Now let's talk a bit more specifically about the WD Red series. Now again, these have been upgraded with the 5 and 6 terabyte capacities now available, but across the board, the other capacities of WD Red series 3.5 inch drives have also been upgraded to NASWare 3.0, which means that instead of 1 to 5 bay storage uh, for recommended use, we now have support for 1 to 8 bay storage, which is uh, very nice to have. Apart from that, these drives has, have a 64 megabyte buffer, and uh, the 6 terabyte version here at least is based on a 5 platter design that gives you 1.2 terabytes per platter. Uh, and that is one of the highest aerial densities um, from any drives, at least that I've seen when it comes to consumer drives. These also have a uh, three-year warranty, and that's as opposed to the WD Red Pro series, which gives you a five-year warranty. 
couple other cool features about these drives are that they feature IntelliPower design. Um, the other cool features of this are that you get stable track and 3D Active Balance Plus technology. And again, that is specifically for use in multi-drive configurations because the spinning vibration of one drive to another or even spinning uh, fans in a case, for example, can cause vibrations that might potentially cause uh, data errors or read problems. But with the WD Red Pro drives and NASWARE 3.0 features, you can be assured that that will not happen. Now as for the RED Pros, as the name implies, these are designed for a bit more of a professional environment, so 8 to 16 bay NAS environments. These are actually also recommended by WD if you're going to go with a rack mount solution, uh, a bit more so than the standard REDs. Now these still have a 64 megabyte buffer. Uh, the 4 terabyte version is based on a 5 platter design, that's eight, 800 gigabytes per platter, and the RED Pros feature a 5 year warranty as opposed to the 3 year warranty with the standard REDs. These also have 7200 RPM spindle speed, so as opposed to using the IntelliPower design, that the standard reds use, these are going to give you a little bit of a boost in performance. Um, also, since these are designed for environments where you might have additional drives, potentially additional heat, and other hardware that might be uh, providing vibration that could potentially conflict with the drive's day to day usage, these add hardware vibration compensation on top of the stable track and 3D Active Balance Plus technology. And again, that's to make sure that if you have vibration uh, crossover from other devices, whether it be fans or additional drives that are in your NAS, that the drives are still going to be able to perform and get their reads and writes done and all that good stuff. Now, it might go without saying, but I do want to point out that these drives feature standard serial ATA6 gigabits per second connection, so they can't take advantage of the, that bandwidth. And then finally, the RED Pros feature enhanced thermal burn-in, so all of them are actually individually tested at the WD facilities to make sure that you're going to get working drives that have already been tested to ensure performance. Now if you're already familiar with WD's red line of NAS hard drives, there might be some questions that come to mind while you're watching this video, especially if you've already invested in the first generation WD reds. The first question that I'm going to try to answer for you guys is, are the original first run WD red NASWARE 2.0 enabled drives uh, capable of running in 6 to 8 bay NAS systems, since the 3.0 is one of the benefits you get from that is going up to the higher bay count capacity. WD does not recommend this, um, although it's still something you could do. They're recommending you go with the newer drives with NASWARE 3.0 if you're going specifically for that environment. But 1 to 5 bay is still just fine for the original first generation WD red drives. Next question is, if I have a first generation WD red drive with NASWARE 2.0, can it be somehow upgraded to NASWARE 3.0? Answer there is unfortunately no, there is some hardware elements to the drives that are required for that, so you can't necessarily upgrade. But the third question is, can I take a WD Red uh, NASWARE 2.0 drive and use it with the new WD Red NASWARE 3.0 drive? Answer there is yes, you're fine, you're good to go. So go ahead if that's your intended use case scenario. The last question is, why would the WD Pro, WD Red Pro line of uh, hard drives only be available in two, three, and four terabyte capacities, whereas we have these glorious five and six terabyte capacities for the standard WD Reds? The reason there is that WD goes through a lot of steps when it comes to implementing new hardware, specifically when it comes to validation with working with third-party companies like Synology in order to make sure that these drives will work in their NAS devices. So it's not to say that five and six terabyte capacities will never be available for the WD Red Pro, just not yet. So hopefully we can look forward to those in the future. But that's all for this video, guys. Hopefully you have learned a little bit more about WD's new series of WD Red and WD Red Pro NAS specific hard drives. I'm Paul with New TV, and if you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how many of these drives you want and what kind of RAID configuration you would like to put them in. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.